What's happening guys? My name is Alex and first guys I want to do a quick shout out to Casual Savage for letting me upload on this channel. He uploaded also two tutorials on my channel so make sure to check out the description and you can find all the info there. So with that being said guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to stabilize shaky footage. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the actual tutorial. Okay everyone, so we are in Sony Vegas right now. I have a little clip as you can see right here of, as you can see, an empty street. And it's a little bit shaky as everyone can see right there. So I'm gonna show you guys how to stabilize this clip. I've kinda mentioned though, if you're using a DSLR camera, make sure to use the automatic stabilizer on your camera so you don't have to stabilize anything afterwards in the editing. Better be safe than sorry. If you have any unsteady footage or like from a GoPro, there's a really simple tool in Sony Vegas that you can use to make the video look a little bit more stable. So the first thing they would do is when you go over to the video fix tab and you want to scroll down to the S until you see stabilize this one. Now you want to click on this or you can just drag it on top of the track. Then this box pops up and right here yeah, guys you can choose presets. So you can see okay I need light stabilization, I need medium or heavy stabilization. Well we're gonna go for heavy and let's see let's look at our footage right now. As you can see, there are still a lot of shaky movements in there, so we're going to fix that. For this tool, you need to apply it multiple times. If you add one stabilizer, you're not going to see the difference like that much. So, what I would recommend is adding more stabilizers to it. So, I'm just going to go ahead and pick the second one. Go over to the presets tab and click on heavy stabilization. And I'm going to add a third one. Go back to the stabilization preset, click on heavy stabilization. And let's see how the footage looks right now with three stabilizations enabled. It looks pretty pretty good guys as you can see right here it's like movie right and then right here it's like the a very steady part and also right there there are a lot of movements that are just reduced because of the stabilizer tool so that's how similar it is the more shaky your footage is the more stabilizers you need but it's not a problem if you want to use more stabilizers on your clip it's not a problem if you want to use more stabilizers on your clip you can go ahead and add as many stabilizers as you want until you're happy with it even though if it takes 15 stabilization presets that's the only thing you can how you can fix it in the editing if you don't have stabilization or like stabilizer on your camera itself this is how you can fix it in the editing afterwards just add stabilizers to it that's how you can stabilize more footage and let's see how it looks right now and as you guys can see there's still some hand movements as you can see right there but you know those are little really really tiny movements if I go back to the beginning as you can see this part especially this one look how look how stabilized this is this part it looks really, really stabilized, guys. Even though there are only like a few stabilizations on there, you can go ahead and, and add more, guys. It doesn't really matter how many stabilizers you're using. Just keep on adding them until you're happy with the end product. And that's how we use stabilized footage, guys. It's that simple. Hopefully, this tutorial was helpful to you. And now you can go ahead and use those stabilizer effects. That's how simple it is, guys. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out Casual Savage tutorials on my channel. You can find all the info in the description down below. Make sure to follow him on Twitter and leave your suggestions in the comments comments down below. Thank you so much for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below and also the subscribe button down below for more Sony Vegas tutorials. And I would say thank you Casual Savage for uploading me on this channel and that's the video. So thank you guys and I will see you guys in the next Sony Vegas tutorial.